kuku. Fuck off. <laughs> Fuck right off. Fuck yourself. Whatever the fuck, just gonna be fucking bitches. Whoever the fuck, bitch. Are you the spirit whose coming was foretold to me? I am. So, I, I dare you. Try to dox me, then step up here. I am the ghost of Christmas past. Step up. Long past. No, your past. Stunt. You're a fucking suicide troll? I am. <laughs> Fuck you, asshole. Your reclamation, then. Take heed, rise, and walk with me. Fuck you, you fucking bitch. Liable to fall. Bear but a touch of my hand, and you shall be upheld in more than this. Are you an in and <laughs> what do they call it? in not an infidel? That's what the Islamic extreme extremist. You know, you're on a fucking. You are supposed to be on a terrorist watch list. Did you know that? Well, I'll make sure they get your name. How does that sound? Let me help you out. You know this place, know it. Oh, because you all are so clever at getting people's doxes. They are but shades of the things that have been. They do not know we are here. Look, there's my old school. How lonely and deserted it looks. Not quite deserted. A solitary boy, yourself, Ebenezer, forgotten by his friends, is left there still. Fuck you. Get my fucking name out of your mouth. You really ought to keep your fucking mouth shut. I'm coming. Fuck, 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 fuck. Fuck, 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 fuck. There are many clones of my, of me running around. Is he over 20? Fucking bitch. Cunt. Oh dear brother, I have come to bring you home. Home, home, home. Yes, home for good and all. Home forever and ever. Father is so much kinder than he used to be that home is like heaven. For you perhaps, but not for me. He doesn't know me nor even what I look like. Same as I hardly know you now that you're quite a woman. <coughs> Mama must have looked as you look now just before she died. Perhaps that is what has changed his mind towards you. He spoke to me so gently one night when I was going to bed that I wasn't afraid to ask him just once more if you might come home. And he said, yes, you should, and sent me in a carriage to bring you. And you're never to come back here anymore. And you're never to be lonely again. Never to be lonely again. Never, as long as I live. Well, then you must live forever, Fan. Nobody else ever cared for me, nobody else ever will. You must live forever, Fan. Oh, dear brother, what nonsense. Everyone loves you very much. You must forgive Papa and forget the past. For I dare his mother's sake. Fucking dare you, people. You have no regard for a person's life. Bring down Master's fruit in box. You'd be happy if they're dead. You're sick. You need to be held accountable. Her sister was always a delicate creature whom a breath might have withered, but she had a large heart. She had. She died a married woman and had, I think, children. Fucking cunt. True, your nephew. She died giving him life. 
as your mother died giving you life for which your father never forgave you as if you were to blame fuck yourself it all out. I got the fucking hard drive. Check me, check me, one, two, three. Right check me, check me, one, two, three, four. Check me, check me, one, two, three. Check me, check me, one, two, three, four. Right you recall this, no doubt. Recall it? Why, bless my soul. It's old physics. Bucket skull. Check me, check me, one, two, three, four. Check me, check me, one, two, three. She worked with me and she worked with me. You people are fucking mindless shit. <laughs> oh, was there ever a kind of man? And yet, what does this party cost him in your mortal money? Three or four pounds at most. Is that so much that he deserves your praise? Oh, but it's not that. The happiness he gave to us, his clerks and apprentices and everybody who knew him. With the fucking cokehead videos and all that. Fortune. What's the matter? Nothing. Something, I think. No, no, no. no. Don't kill yourself or anything. I wouldn't want that. But you're a lying stack of garbage. That's all. Turn and see yourself in love, Ebenezer Scrooge. It's only a shilling ring, Alice, but one day it'll be a gold one, oh, when I'm rich enough. Oh, it's a beautiful ring. Oh, but I mustn't accept it. Why not? Because it's not good enough for you. Oh, no, no. Uh, because I'm not rich enough for you. Oh, of course not. You're still so young, you may have a change of heart one day. Oh, dearest Alice, if ever I have a change of heart towards you, it'll be because my heart has ceased to beat. <laughs> And it makes no difference that I'm poor. I don't care about the money. I'm not proud and foolish. Will you always feel like that? As long as I live. Longer. Forever and ever. Then I accept your ring. Alice. Because it didn't... It, shit happens. People develop feelings. Things change. <laughs> Whatever. I ain't that kind of woman. I don't want to be with no man that doesn't want to be with me. From now to eternity, we two are as one. You fucking cunt. Yet more ways I will look. You shall. Now see yourself in business, Ebenezer. Get my no, fucking come, name out of your mouth. Friends, I think besides good men of business, he is women of vision and so progress. tight with Betty. Why don't you sell out while the going is good? You will never get a better offer. It's at the age of the machine and the factory and the vested interests. We small traders are all history, Mr. Fezziwig. <laughs> Dodos. That, that yes, these so other people, they because are. they have no the integrity, will immediately take these admit. motherfuckers into their the fucking alone, breast. Because they have no integrity door. whatsoever. And just well, as long as that person is against that person now, come on over here. Oh, you made death threats? So what? I want the scoop. Talk to me about Betty. No, I can't see my way to selling out to the new vested interests, Mr. Jorkin. I'll have to be loyal to the old ways and die out with them if needs must. Well, <laughs> you know what they say about time and tide, Mr. Fezziwig. Oh, you made death threats on that woman? They wait for no one. Oh, uh, so what? There's more in life than money, sir. Oh, excuse me, Mr. Fezziwig, sir. Uh, yes, yes, my boy. The foreman would appreciate a word. Is he over 20? Time, uh, yes, yes, of course. Uh, excuse me a moment. <laughs> they can't teach an old dog new tricks, can you, Mr. Scrooge? Nor teach the leopard to change its spots. You're you're up to no fucking good, whether you get paid or not. Oh, so you hate progress and money too, do you? Well, no, I don't hate them, sir, but well There should be laws passed against this shit. Sage and onions, my dear fella. Ha! Gammon and spinach. Well, I suppose I told you you could get twice the salary old Fezzy we can afford to pay you. And advancement he can't afford to offer you. As a clerk in a new company. What would you say to that, eh? You're a lying sack of garbage. You are scum of the earth. You're up to no good. Oh, well, if it ain't, I don't know what is. Come and see me someday anyway, young fella. Uh... You're smart and you're no fool. Uh... 
That's the kind of buck they're looking for these days. Uh, when I have three five-star businesses. Still to this day, fucker. I am. No, spirit, not here. Yes, here. Come on, you fucking cunt. Then, it's me, your brother. Do you know me? Ebenezer, I sent for you. Promise me. Promise you what, Fan? I'll promise you anything, dearest. Only that. You're delusional. You're deluded. No. You are. You are. Dear God, you must. You, you can't die. Fab. Get on with it. You're going to get well again, Fab. Fab, you're going to get well again. Don't kill yourself or anything. I wouldn't want that. Fucking full of shit, bitch. Have you no mercy, no pity? Ebenezer. Brother. Ebenezer. Promise me you'll take care of my boy. Promise me you'll take care of my. Is he over twenty? Forgive me, Fan. Forgive me. Forgive me, Fan. Forgive me, Fan. For the fucking shit you've done to a woman that didn't deserve one fucking bit of it. Whatever the fuck. Fuck, 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 fuck. Whatever. Come on. Give me a fucking break. I mean, what's going on? What the hell? I got... I don't know what's going on. That's all I can tell. Okay, I'm gonna stop it and come back in and, like, do a reboot. It's gonna bug, okay? Hello? Let's try it this way. It's just it's not working, you know. Not working. Let's see. Do audio. No visual. Oh, yeah, but the visual order is really the visual order. Yeah, you know that. I don't know what's going on with it. it okay. okay. Camera on that side. Cover. So let's try to flip it. There you go. Now you have a visual. Does that make you feel better? Get on with it. Keep pulling your shit. You put me in fucking jail. You all have some fucking connection, one way or another. And others I'm not going to mention here. Well, there you are, me buff. That's where you start. And you can work your way on up as high as the dome of St. Paul's Cathedral if you have a mind to do so. Control the cash box and you control the world. By the way, how did old Fezziwig take it when you said you were leaving him? Fuck you, motherfucker. No hard feelings, eh? Starting with a clean slate. Yes, cunt. Good. 
And now let me introduce you to your fellow clerk, Mr. Marley. Just a moment, please. Mr. Ebenezer Scrooge, the new clerk, Mr. Jacob Marley, our wizard of the accounts. Fuck yourself. Your servant, Mr. Scrooge. I'm sure you two gentlemen will get along famously. I'm sure we shall, Mr. Jorkinson. Yeah. <laughs> well, I'll leave you to it. Uh... Thank you. The place, no doubt, seems new and strange to you. Fuck you. The world is on the verge of new and great changes, Mr. Scrooge. Some of them, of necessity, will be violent. Do you agree? I can't take much more of this. It's like I got nowhere to sit that's comfortable, and I just get this, like, shooting, burning pain into my hand, so... I think we have many things in common, Mr. Scrooge. I don't give a fuck. Cunt. So now we're going to pull out. This is what they forced to happen. This is them trying to alienate me. Same thing as that man who in somebody else's chatter. She's a bad person. Oh, I'm a bad person. Where's your fucking proof, you fucking liar? You will see these roaming bands of suicide trolls. It is unbelievable. Oh, excuse me, Mr. Scrooge, sir. Yes? Pardon the liberty, but do you know if I'm to be kept on here, sir? What's your present salary? Fucker. Five shillings a week, sir. You can stay for four shillings a week. Well, yes, sir. Thank you, sir. Isn't that old Fezzy week? Cunt. Fucking scum. Fucking bastards! Alice. The same Alice you swore to love to all eternity, Ebenezer. She is not changed by the harshness of the world. But you are. Then you no longer love me. You no longer love me. When have I ever said that? In words, never. You're an asshole! In the way you have changed. You're a dirty little bitch. By changing towards the world. You stupid, ignorant, scumbag bitch. Go fuck yourself. Another idol has replaced me in your heart. A golden idol. Oh, but I'm doing it, right? You know, I was the cause of this shit, right? You fear the world too much. Sir, with reason. On the eternal condemnation of my soul if I'm lying. Aren't you? Our promise is an old one. It was made when we were both poor and content to be so. If you had never made that promise, tell me, would you seek me out and try to win me now? Fuck you, asshole. No. If you were free today, would you choose a darless girl with, with neither wealth nor social standing? You who now weigh everything by gain? It would bring you nothing but repentance and regret. That is why I released you. You know I'm right then. You're a fucking liar. May you be happy in the life you have chosen. Fuck you. I shall be. Fuck off. Goodbye. Cunt. <laughs> I've never tried to call the motherfucker since. Go fuck yourself. But I told you. These were but shadows of the things that have been. That they are what they are, do not blame me. Take me away. Very well. But we have not done yet, Ebenezer Scrooge. We do but turn another page. Keep on lying about me doing shit I ain't doing. You just keep spinning. That's your agenda and narrative. And as your business prospered, Ebenezer Scrooge, a golden idol took possession of your heart. Bullshit. As Alice said it would. 
May we hear those figures, Mr. Snedgrid, uh, at your pleasure? Uh, certainly, Mr. Groper. Well, gentlemen, after 17 years of existence, the Amalgamated Mercantile Society's books show the startling figures of a liability of 3,200 pounds, eight shillings and tenpence, and a total asset of 11 pounds, eight shillings and tenpence. Well, at least the tenpences cancel each other out. How much of this is the company's capital? All of it, Mr. Rosebed. In short, sir, you're not only a bankrupt, you're an embezzler of the company's funds. You fucking fraud. Get the fuck out. I also beat my wife and skewer innocent babies when Sick it might help. Take a very cool attitude, if I may say so, sir. So do Mr. Scrooge and Mr. Marley. They're not facing prosecution for a capital offence. Oh, but gentlemen, it could have been any one of you. We're all cutthroats under this fancy linen, Mr. Snedrig. I must ask you to speak for yourself, Mr. Jorking. Oh, what would you gain to prosecute me? All you'd get out of it is about 11 pounds off. Bullshit. And to pack me off to Botany Bay would be poor compensation for the panic that would arise among the shareholders. Panic, sir? Yes, panic. Would any of you gentlemen care to deny that if this juicy little scandal leaked out now, the annual shareholders' meeting would resemble an orchestra of scorched cats? Result? Bankruptcy all around. Strike that speech out of the minutes. Yes, sir. You want to start fucking with the slander, bitch? You can get a goddamn slander case, too. And I ain't looking to make a quick buck in the court. Are you in sympathy with Mr. Jorkin by any chance, Mr. Scrooge? You're all just low-life scum shit. And I'm very blessed that I went through the majority of my life with no interaction with people like you. The devil you have. You want to watch these two fellas, you know. They'd skin Jack catch alive and he'd never know they'd done it. Can we hear the proposition? It's a reconfiguration of the fucking LARP or whatever the fuck they're doing. Go fuck yourself and get a fuck fucking attorney. <laughs> Reprieved. Reprieved. Curfew shall not ring tonight, Mr. Snedry. Order, order. In return. I'm going to bury you legally, cunt. I'm going to bury every last one of you suicide trolling pieces of shit. In short, gentlemen. If you wish to save the fair name of the company by accepting their generous offer, ha, they become the company. Never, never. One percent. Out of the question. Never. Never. Fifty. Out of the question. And also out of order, Mr. Scrooge. Please, your great kind self, dear. I'm to say that Mr. Marley ain't expected to live through the night and that if Mr. Scrooge wants to take his leave of him, he should nip along smartly or there won't be no Mr. Marley to take leave of, as we know the use of the word. He's breathing very queer when he does breathe at all. Excuse me, Mr. Scrooge, I'm sir. busy. It's about Mr. Marley. He's dying, sir. Well, what can I do about it if he's dying? He's dying. Well, the message was for you to go at once, sir. I don't give a fuck. The business of the office is not yet finished. I shall go when the office is closed. Get the fuck out. Yes, sir. Fucking quick. Fucking bastard! He'll come at seven. I'll try and get Mr. Marley to hold out till then, I'm sure. Much obliged. Good night to you. And a Merry Christmas, if it ain't out of keeping with the situation. Thank you. The same to you.
hope you'll find Mr. Marley well, sir. I should think that's highly unlikely. Yes, I suppose so, sir. But it seems odd to think of the place without him, sir. Why should it be any more odd than it was with him? Hmm? We've all got to die, Cratchit. I suppose you'll be wanting the whole day off tomorrow as usual. If quite convenient, sir. <laughs> Fuck you, you fucking bitch. And every Christmas it's just as inconvenient as it was the Christmas before. Fuck off. Good night. You fucking fraud. <clears throat> Undertaker. <laughs> You're a fucking suicide troll? Ours is a highly competitive profession, sir. Is it dead yet? I'll have another look if you like. And what you do is criminal. I'll see for myself. And I'll get you either way, <clears throat> bitch. <laughs> Scummy fucking bitches. Sick motherfucker. Uh, uh, Jacob? You fucking cunt. Well, have they... Have they seen to you properly? Last rites and all that? Hmm? You really ought to keep your fucking mouth shut. Cunt. Oh? What? Particularly? Time? Time? Time for what? Are we, are we doing wrong? Huh? Wrong. Wrong. Fucking. I'm going to do whatever I have to do to fucking show that you are a cyber bully and a cyber harasser. Jacob. We are wrong. What? Save yourself. What? Don't kill myself. For anything, I wouldn't want that. Hmm? Speak up. Fuck yourself, you fucking full of shit, bitch. One shadow more. No. No more. Don't ever fucking contact me again. Don't ever. Jacob Marley worked at your side for 18 years. He was the only friend you ever had. Bullshit. But what did you feel when you signed the register of his burial and took his money, his house, and his few mean sticks of You're furniture? You're just a fucking liar. Did you feel a little pity for him? Fuck you, asshole. Look at your face, Ebenezer. Shut up. Just shut up. Come on. Grasping, Give me a fucking break. Go away. No. No. I don't know what's going on.